whip and I hit these switches See that chrome suspension Look at the car, you know who did it I don't have to mention They know it's Alex from Hoppos, 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 Hoppos What's up and good morning guys, how are you? Alex here from Hoppos with another video for you guys And today's video is the final day Today is the day that's going to make or break the acne build Are we going to finish in time? I sure hope so Could we fail? Yeah, we probably could um, right now we have a list, a list of going on the final day of what we have to do. There's a few things that are in our way, like this forklift, because, well, we ran out of propane. Let me give you guys a recap real quick of what's going on here. We got a wide body acne kit that's roughly about 13 inches wider than stock. We have our Luxor wire wheels right here. We have our house of color paint sitting on that cart back there. We have our new steering wheel from our good buddies over at Matrix, Mark, Truck Tech steering wheel from them we got our big 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 wang a big wang um, that's going to be going on hopefully today if all makes it well we have our four pump hydraulic gravity fed setup we have our five optima batteries going in here and we have all of our rigid lighting that is going to be placed inside of here these are our four inch rigid 360s which are sitting right here and that's what we're working on right now. We're actually getting some brackets done. But front bumper, crash bar, train plow, uh, whatever you want to call this thing in the front is all done. That is all buttoned up. We're all nice and solid. All right, we are a little stuck. All right. That is the first time the acne has seen the ground since we started this guy. It is finally on the ground. First step, step one of, well, Here's what we gotta do so far. Light bar brackets, fuse block brackets, seat bracket. We gotta notch the body for turning radius and we need the big ass wang. Wang. That is all stuff that has to be done today, tomorrow, or after paint. We gotta worry about all this section right here, which, uh, yeah, well, hydros is very important because uh, we're a hydraulic shop. So we gotta do that. We gotta make sure that happens. But right now, I'm so excited. It's the first time seeing it on the ground. And any car that's jacked up obviously looks a little bit funny, but right now this looks so much better. Alright, just finished designing up the wing and cutting it. Oh my gosh, so much going on today. Um, and we were like so crunched on time. This thing leaves tomorrow. Oh. Did it cut good? Oh, I hope it cut good. Dang, I think I gotta mess up. See brackets being checked right now. Making sure they're leveled up and squared. Barely have room to fit both these seats right now. The problem we're having is these seats are way more cushioned than the, the stock ones, so. We had to drop these down as much as we could just to make up the difference of the cushion from the top of the cushion to the top of the headliner. So that's the issue we're having right now, but we're getting it in, getting the first few brackets tacked on the passenger side. Uh, we also got the big wang uh, dialed in. Just waiting for the truck to be squared up. Right now we have it at an angle, so I wanna look at it while it's square. That way we get the, the wing and uh, all that dialed in. It is like 2.30, actually it's like 2. 216 right now and um, we only got a few more hours left and we still got almost everything on the list still uh, I'm I'm sunburnt I'm burnt I got a welding ball landed on my throat we still got fuse fuse block brackets seat brackets notch body and big ass wang that's literally everything that we started with this morning front bumpers done front main bumpers done not looking so good but I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to show you my big wing. Big wing. We got the wing mounted up. Got everything in position right now. We're gonna get this all squared up and drill the holes to bolt this in. That way we get this powder coated. Again, my whole idea on this car was a big Hot Wheel. I wanted a life-size Hot Wheel. Something exaggerated, over the top, weird. You guys know me. Different. I love different. I love when people go, I wouldn't do that. Cause that's what I like. But it's coming together. I'm not, I, I'm smiling right now, but I'm not that 100% happy because we still are very close to our time frame right now. And uh, 
if we have to we can squeeze into tomorrow early early morning to finish a few little things but still got a lot of work ahead of us all right guys almost done with the seat brackets Fuse bracket, we could make that right after the seats are done and then notch the body, last thing. All right guys. We can mark off fuse block bracket. Look at that guy, nice fatty. I got this marker just so nobody would steal it from me. Next thing we got here is seat brackets and notch body. And notch body, what that was, was right here, we have to trim this and do a little bit of a notch right here and put a little bit of a liner just to get a little bit better turning clearance uh, for the rear tire, the front tires. We got one hour left. One hour left. I don't know if it's possible. We are beat. Eddie's working on the last of the seats right now. Just finalized the last of the wing. Just gonna notch out the turning radius and add in a support. A lot of work to do. All right, guys, it's that time. Notch body, whoop. Last thing left, seat brackets, which he's finalizing right now. All right, not to add any drama to YouTube, but we literally got six minutes left. Can you finish in six minutes? Yeah, yeah. Well, you just put a dent in my door. So now, uh, Mario, sorry if there's a dent on this side. AJ did it. We got five minutes left to finish it. We are almost there. Woo! All right, guys, there's seriously only a couple minutes left, and we're actually we're looking pretty good right about now. It's finalizing the last of the seat brackets right now. We are right at the final stretch. Front bumper's done, front grill inserts done. Uh, I can't even think. Ridges, the four ridges in the front, the 360, the four inch ones, those guys are all done. Wide body is done intact. Bumper brackets are all done intact. As you can see, it's welding in the seat brackets right now. Pump has been removed and we're ready to go. The last thing we gotta do right before we jump on the trailer is get the power connected over into the battery. That way we can just drive this guy up in there. Um, wing, wing is done. Dude, I did not think we're gonna do this. We're not gonna make it. Obviously tomorrow we allow for just cleanup time in the morning before we load it into the trailer. Other than that, we just gotta get a few boxes together, load the paint up over there, um, and just get a few things organized in the morning. And we're freaking we're home stretch. Good morning, guys. We are back with another day, and today is paint day. Last night we made it. Today we allowed ourselves for about an hour or so on teardown and final uh, just cleanup. We got all the paint loaded down in the back of the truck. The guys are tearing down the last of the inserts right now. Let me show you what we got going. We got the House of Colors mixed paint. Got a few gallons of that stuff. What do we got here? We got some clear. And a whole bunch of reducer and thinner and a whole bunch of stuff. All this stuff, we're getting everything labeled out. What needs to be painted, what color. Obviously these are going black, that's going red, that's going red. Ends of, ends of these are going black. So we removed all the inserts and the guys are taking all that stuff off right now. Cause we got the trailer here. And with the trailer here, we gotta load the sucker up, get going, get on the road. Cause we got a long day ahead of us today. this thing painted up right I'm very excited for this it's been a long time coming a lot of hard work a lot of just just, just long days man 
I'm very excited to see the next step of this build. So let's get over there. You guys can make it happen? <laughs> Everyone's looking at me like I'm stupid over here. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're over here at CNC. I told you we were stop by and see Mario, and they got everything all set up over here. I'm going to give you guys a quick little update on Javier's car. You guys haven't seen it in a minute. There it is. All right. Guys are on it. Owner's manual. Even if I had it, you could understand it. It's in all Japanese. You gotta read it backwards. So we just dropped off the Acne truck at CNC Anaheim with Mario and the guys. Those guys are literally working on it as I was still there talking about it. Uh, they're on it. They said they can do it. I know they can do it. I know we're pushing them and pushing them on time frame, but I already know that if anyone could do it with the quality, it's gonna be them. Again, don't expect this normally. This isn't how it would normally happen. It's just, I'm personally pulling a favor with Mario, you know, after years and years of doing business with him, I haven't really asked for much. This is one that I'm asking. So very, very grateful for the guys over at CNC Anaheim. Man, they're taking care of it. They're making it happy. I'm very excited. Uh, the guys are gun ho they're on it. You know, I think it's kind of a test between everybody too. So I'm super freaking glad it's going to them now gotta go pick up another car just got painted too all right well the car is acquired can't show you guys what that is yet but we are now making our third and final stop hopefully uh, and that is ontario airport now kind of a weird day today but ontario airport where i'm going to pick up the buyer for my Ram 2500 that I sold. He's flying in. All right, we're rolling through Ontario Airport with the trailer. Trying to find... There he is right there. Just gotta get past this uh, this red light. Saying goodbye to the truck. She's on her way home to her new home in Colorado.